Crystal field theory explains most of the properties of complex ion bonding. Ligand field theory is actually MO theory applied to complex ions and is only briefly considered in these tutorials. The idea of crystal field theory is that the ligands approach the central atom and create a local crystal type field and this affects the d orbitals of the central atom. Transition metal chemistry is dominated by the d electrons that can occupy the 5d orbitals. Here is shown the 5d orbitals of the free central atom. Also the 5d orbitals in the tetrahedral field and the 5d orbitals in an octahedral field. For a free transition metal, in the absence of any crystal field, the 5d orbitals are degenerate, which means that they all have the same energy. In an octahedral field, six ligands approach, two along the plus and minus z axis, two along the plus and minus x axis, and two along the plus and minus y axis. When a ligand encounters a lobe of the central atom's d orbitals, it raises the energy. Hence, the dz squared and the dx squared minus y squared orbitals, which lie along the x, y, and z axes, are raised in energies whereas they dxy, dyz, and dxz are out of the way of the ligands and are of lower energy. In a tetrahedral crystal field, four ligands approach along opposite corners of a cube, forming a tetrahedral crystal field. In this case, the dxy, the dyz, and the dxz orbitals are raised in energy whereas the dx squared minus y squared and dz squared orbitals are lowered in energy. In an octahedral crystal field, we say that the d orbitals have an octahedral energy splitting, and we denote this by a capital delta with a subscript oct. The tetrahedral splitting of the d orbitals is opposite to that of the octahedral splitting. Also, the tetrahedral crystal field only involves four ligands, whereas the octahedral crystal field involves six ligands. Hence, the tetrahedral splitting is usually less than the octahedral splitting. For the same type of ligands, the tetrahedral field splitting is equal to four-ninths that of the octahedral splitting. Note that as these splittings increase, if possible, the upper electrons fall down to the lower states. These two different electronic configurations are called high and low spin complexes. The reason complex ions display such an array of colors is that the crystal field splittings lie in the visible spectrum. Light passes through a solution of complex ions which absorbs the light specific to that type of splitting and the electrons jump up. What we see is the light that gets through and is not absorbed.